You gonna tell your mom? Being gay isn't something black people love to talk about. Ma. Mm -hmm. I'm gay. You what? I'm gay. I've always been gay. But I'm still the same person. I'm still your daughter. Nothing's changed. Me being gay is like tarnishing her trophy. Some black people think being gay is a choice. And when they find out that their kid is gay, they try to figure out what they did wrong. I don't want life to be hard for you. It is hard enough being a black woman in this world. Now you want to add something else to that. Lena Waithe was born on May 17, 1984, in the south side of Chicago, Illinois. When she was three years old, her parents divorced, and her mother raised her on her own. From age seven, Lena Waithe knew she wanted to be a television writer. She received a large amount of support from her mother and grandmother. Lena attended an almost all African American elementary magnet school, Turner Drew. She later earned a degree in cinema and television arts from Columbia College Chicago in 2006. Let the, let the creativity in, you know what I mean? Yeah. Don't have to do this to get through the gate, because otherwise know. you're actually lessening the potential of your whole society. That's right. We, every, everybody should be equal. There it is. In her career so far, Lena Waithe has been a writer for the Fox television series Bones, a writer for How to Rock on Nickelodeon, as well as the hit Netflix show Masters of None, which has earned her an Emmy for comedy writing. She was the first black woman to ever receive the award. Thank you, Netflix and Universal, for creating a beautiful playground for us to play on and shine. Ted and Cindy, we love you. Um, Melina, you are magic. Angela, you are a legend. Kim, you are a force. Uh, thank you for making this episode so special. To my girlfriend, I love you more than life itself. Alana, to my team, my chosen family, I love y'all. And last but certainly not least, my LGBTQIA family. I see each and every one of you. The things that make us different, those are our superpowers. Every day when you walk out the door, put on your imaginary cape and go out there and conquer the world because the world would not be as beautiful as it is if we weren't in it. And for everybody out there that showed us so much love for this episode, thank you for embracing a little Indian boy from South Carolina and a little queer black girl from the south side of Chicago. We, we appreciate it more than you could ever know. Thank you, Academy, for this. Lena Waithe is a co-chair of the Committee of Black Writers at the Writers Guild. She has been on both sides of the camera, writing and producing for multiple television shows, as well as acting, recently starring in the hit Spielberg movie Ready Player One, where she plays Helen, a black lesbian who hides behind her identity in the online world. She is quickly rising to be one of the biggest names in Hollywood. She has broken through the predominantly white male group running Hollywood in the director's chair, writing chair, and even on the screen. African Americans are marginalized and massively silenced for a large majority of larger Hollywood films. Waith does not only deal with the oppression within mass media as an institution, but also religion. Religion can have a big impact on anyone and can influence the opinions of many. These influences can lead to a skewed opinion of people of different race, sexuality, and gender. Lena Waithe having all three of the following in a marginalized manner, meaning woman of color, lesbian, and female, which causes oppression against things she cannot prevent. This effect of religious institutions instigating such behaviors and thoughts and instilling them on the minds of a large number of people poses many difficult challenges people like Lena Waithe have to face. Challenges like basic ignorance, discrimination, and hate speech. These are just the tip of the iceberg. Anyone who finds themselves within the LGBTQ community deal with these same issues daily. 
Sexuality should not define the worth of a person trying to live out their dream. As a lesbian, Lena Waithe has brought stories from her past into her writing. In the hit Netflix show, Masters of None, she wrote an episode about a main character coming out of the closet to their parents. Noted by her co-writer Aziz Ansari, they were writing it together and he left their room while she reflected on her past to write what would later win herself an Emmy for writing in a comedy. The episode is a reflection of her coming out to her mother as well as her best friend while she is growing up. The writing is very much a reflection of her past and present. As Hollywood and overall acceptance for other ways, cultures, and forms of life are increased, we get a look into stories never told on screen before. 30 years ago, a movie pitch of an all-black cast superhero movie such as Black Panther would be thrown right into the trash. Now we have Black Panther as the third highest grossing film of all time. Without her personal story, we would not have a story so relatable for others struggling to come out in the LGBTQ community. In the end, Lena Waithe has pushed through these marginalized aspects about her and the institutions. She managed to create a space for women looking up to her and setting up for an ever-improving society allowing for a positive change to happen. Well, and in the speech you said, being born gay, black, and female is not a revolutionary act, but being proud to be a gay, black, female Oh, kid. I love that. What, tell us what you mean. Elaborate. Yeah, I mean, well, I think it's very interesting. And here's my real, you know, truth. Think about how many out gay black people there are in Hollywood. Mm. But I think, honestly, like, we have to be a bit of a beacon of light for uh-huh. those young kids of color mm-hmm. who are wondering, like, am I weird? Is something wrong with me? Mm-hmm. Um, what kind of, what quality of life might I have? 